Hey guys, and welcome to Minecraft Tornado Survival, Season 6, Episode 31, and we are back in the world. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the one-hour special last episode. We did have pretty active weather during the one-hour special, including an F5 tornado, so... If you haven't seen it, then I highly recommend. There is some very crazy stuff that went down in that one hour special. And luckily, the, luckily the first storm clip was successfully combined with the rest of the one hour special. So now it's all in one video. So we had a total of four tornadoes in the one hour special. Two F zeros, um, one F one and one F five. Not necessarily in that order. It wasn't in that order, but yeah, those are the tornadoes we had. Anyways, now let's talk about this episode. So, this episode is not going to be a one-hour special, obviously. One-hour specials are supposed to be special, so they're not going to occur very often. Also, they take quite a bit longer to upload. So, yeah. I don't know when my next one hour special is going to be. I may not even have another one this season. I may have just one or two per season. So I may or may not have another one this season. Because we are going to... We're probably going to fight the Ender Dragon fairly soon. Probably not in the next... Probably not in the next five episodes, but we're probably going to fight the Ender Dragon before I'm due to make another one-hour special. I'm not making any promises, so uh, we'll have to see. Although I will say, this is the closest to the Ender Dragon fight that I have ever gotten in a world. In a Minecraft Tornado Survival world. I've beaten the Ender Dragon before, but not in a regular Minecraft survival world. I've beaten the Ender Dragon in a world where... So it's very interesting. I actually beat the Ender Dragon in a world where I reversed the mob behaviors. So it was in a world where I made um, hostile mobs passive and passive mobs hostile. So I actually beat the Ender Dragon in that type of world. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the world I beat the Ender Dragon in. And it was not any, I feel like it wasn't any easier than beating the Ender Dragon in a regular Minecraft world because, like, having passive mobs hostile is very annoying. It's extremely annoying. And, like, you're being threatened by mobs, like, when you first spawn into the world, so. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing here. There should be four, yes, like that. So yeah, that's the only time I ever beat the Ender Dragon. I forgot how we, I even got to that conversation about playing in a Minecraft world with reversed mob behaviors, but yeah. Alrighty then. So this is complete. So now, in order to finish the enchanting room, all I have to do is fill in 
these areas with bookshelves. So I'll start with the back corners here and I'll fill them in. And then this should be, this enchanting room should be complete. So we're pretty close to completion. We're exactly two thirds of the way done with this enchanting room. Alrighty, you guys. So what I was gonna plan what I was planning on doing this episode was actually making weather items for the um, weather center because we did not get a chance to do that last episode because, I mean, even though it was the one hour special, I didn't want it to go too far over an hour. So, yeah, it was kind of timed to end the episode, so yeah. Um, so this episode, we will get that done. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna need iron, gold, redstone. Um, I mean, I don't want to use full stacks of redstone. Like, I would like to use just partial stacks of things first before I start using full stacks. So, yeah. Um, and I've looked up the crafting recipes. So, there are actually, there's actually three weather items that we can craft. Um, so, I'm debating whether I will make a third forecast or not. I already have two weather forecasts. Wait, where did my other one go? Oh, it's in the watchtower. I just remembered. But that's supposed to be my portable one. Yeah. The one in the watchtower is supposed to be my portable forecast. Or what if I left that one there and I um, made this my portable weather forecast? I think that might actually be a better idea. So I'm probably not gonna make another weather forecast. Um, what I do need to make is a sensor and a siren. I wanna make a an alert system like I did in season four. Because as you guys know, I made an alert system. Okay, I guess the crafting recipes are different. I thought the crafting recipes would be the same in 1.7.10 as in 1.7.2, but I guess not. So Minecraft, I'm going to try searching Minecraft, weather, and tornadoes. Come on. Crafting recipes. Um, all right, you guys, I might just pause the video and resume when I find the crafting recipes, so I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I know what to do now, and I heard thunder as well, so, yeah, we do have a storm, it looks like. So, yeah, we'll see what it forms into. But I know what I'm doing now. So I made a sensor um, while the video was paused. And yeah. So I'm gonna need this to make the siren. So you make the siren by doing this. And I'm gonna need another tornado sensor. So I'm gonna have to craft another sensor. So you craft a sensor by doing this. 
Alrighty, we got the we got the items. Okay, now I'm gonna set up a tornado alert system. I am going to need to access creative mode for this, but I'm gonna do this on camera so that you guys know that I'm not cheating. But yeah, this is probably going to be the only time that I'm ever going to use creative mode. Um, so yeah. So what I'm thinking is the tornado sensor will be in the middle. There will be two redstone paths. One going to a command block and one going to a siren. I mean, I don't think sirens need... I don't think sirens need... Um, I don't think sirens need, you know, a sensor to go off, but I'm just doing this, I guess, for decorative purposes. And I'm going to... I'm gonna need to get a command block in creative mode. But I'm gonna do this on camera so that you guys see that I am not cheating. Also, while I'm in creative mode, let me, let me just store this stuff. Let me just put this stuff away. I need to be careful not to get rid of anything by accident. So while I'm in creative mode, I'm going to get a wind vane and an anemometer. We're not gonna use a weather machine or a weather deflector. So yeah, these are not craftable in survival, I'm pretty sure. In this version, I don't think they're craftable in survival. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get them in creative. But the other three items, the forecast, the siren, and the sensor are craftable in survival. I don't know if the deflector and the machine are craftable in survival in this version, but we're not going to be using those. So it doesn't matter whether they are or whether they aren't. So yeah. Um, so now I'm going to... I don't need to be in... I don't need to be in creative anymore. I can slash give myself to come out. So slash give and slash give. Nine four nine. Command. Okay, I have a command block now. So then slash say. A tornado slash um a tornado slash I'll just call it cyclone because it can be a tropical storm or hurricane. A tornado slash cyclone warning has been issued for to be in creative mode. <laughs> I have to be in creative mode to put this in. Okay, slash say a tornado slash has been issued
right. Okay, and then we can we can put wind vane and anemometer outside. There, our weather station is pretty much complete. So, let me see if the storm ever developed into anything. Okay, the thunderstorm never developed. So yeah, we're not going to get to test the alert system this episode, but we have created it. So... It's about time to end the episode, so I'm going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I mean, I know not a whole lot happened this episode, but I still hope you enjoyed. At least somewhat. And goodbye for now.